the N5 kanji for high, tall, and expensive. Taka, daka, and ko. So here we have another nice and simple kanji here. This kanji often represents high. And in this video, to help you learn this kanji and get the strongest feel for the concept, we're going to be learning this kanji through the most essential pieces of vocabulary using these essential readings. And so the three readings for this kanji that we're going to be looking at in this video is taka, daka, and ko. First, having a look at the reading of taka. This is a very common reading for this kanji, particularly when you see it used with verbs or adjectives. Like here, the adjective for high or tall or even expensive, high in price, takai. So as you can see, this reading is normally used when the kanji is by itself, followed with some hiragana afterwards. This is very common for kunyomi readings. So like in this next example used to express high, this could be both high in height, like tall, or even high in price, like expensive. Ah, <laughs> And a similar word here in the top 10,000 most useful words is takasa. This is just the word for height. Another common verb here using this reading of taka is seen in takameru, to enhance something. Like here in Mega Man, to enhance your abilities. So you can kind of look at this as to heighten your abilities. Shikashi, omae ni wa tatakai ni yotte nōryoku o takameru chikara ga aru. System o saikou no level ni made takameta kekka, konna koto mo dekiru yo ni natta. Or even in the verb takamaru, for something to rise or to swell. Again, for something to heighten, for something to increase. The next kunyomi reading we have here is daka. And this is usually used when connected to another kanji or word, as this bleeding of sounds often happens in Japanese. The ta turns into a da. So as you can see, each three essential uses here come after another kanji. Like for example, zandaka, for a bank balance. Loan zandaka. Yokin zandaka. Or even nadakai to be famous or renowned. Literally, na is representing name, and then takai, here read as dakai, is high. High in name, so famous, renowned. So da, waneware ga yukai suru no wa Alexandria hajimatta ilai no biki to nadakai ganeto hime. And this next word isn't in the top 10,000 most essential words, but this is a really common word if you're going to be playing any video games or if you're interested in the fantasy genre. Here with kedakai, nobu. So I included this word in this video because this is definitely going to be a useful one if you want to play any fantasy games like Final Fantasy IX or Dragon Quest. And then the final reading we have here is the onyomi reading of ko. And as we can see, this is very commonly used when connected to another kanji. So like for example, high school, ko ko, or even high school student, ko ko se. So this reading is also seen used in the word for high speed, kōsoku. What? 
Or even the word for the best, saiko. So sai is actually representing the most, ko being high, so the most highest, the best. Or even in the word for high priced, koka. So ka representing price, ko high. So ko ka, high price. Or even ko q. High class. Q here for class. So a high class something or a high grade something would be Koku. Hola, Koku chocolate desu. Dozo. Choco ka. Koku te nanda. Totemo ne danga otakakte. Oishi te koto desu. Hmm. So as you can see, the general concept of this kanji is really just high. It can be high in height, so like tall. Or it can be high in price, so like expensive. And there are three readings taka, daka, and ko. So, next, if we have a look at the usefulness ranking of all of the vocabulary that we covered in this video, and we can see that takai and takasa are definitely the most essential words for you to learn. Both of these are around the N5 level in the top 500 or so words, so definitely the most essential ones to get used to. Then, at a little bit rarer, we have takamaru and takameru here in the N1 and the N2 in the top 5000. So, still very useful words to learn. So as you can see, the reading for taka is quite common. Next, we have the reading of daka, and we can see this is much less common. In fact, all of these words are either at the N1 or even beyond the top 10,000. So nadakai, zandaka, and even kedakai. And then with the reading of ko, we can see this is actually much more common. This is equally as common as the reading of taka. So we have the word for ko ko, high school, at the N4 in the top 500 most useful words. Sai ko, for the best in the N3, but still in the top 500. Ko ko se, for a high school student in the top 2000. Ko kyu in the top 4000 for high class. And then ko soku and koka at the N3. But as you can see, all of these words are in the top 10,000 most useful words and even below the N1 level, so they're all very useful for you to learn. So, as we can see with them all put together, the most common readings are definitely taka and ko. But hopefully, this breakdown can give you a nice feel for what words you should focus on learning first. But these words here are the most useful and common words using this kanji. So, if you remember these words, you'll have a really strong understanding of this kanji. Next, we have the kanji's radical and mnemonic. Now, this kanji actually doesn't have any radicals as it's actually a radical by itself, the radical for high. But you can kind of see the kanji for high as almost like a tall pagoda or tower. If you look at the two squares, that's often used to represent a mouth or an opening. Like, for example, a door or a window. And as you can see, there's a door down below and a window up top. So it even kind of looks like a tower. So hopefully that can help you remember this kanji. I definitely recommend trying to follow this stroke order and write it out yourself just to get a little bit of a physical feel for how the kanji is written, as that can also help you remember the kanji. So as you can see, a very straightforward kanji with the concept of high, taka, daka, and ko. So now I'm going to leave you with a quick review test going through all of the most essential words that we just saw in this video. Hopefully this can help solidify some of the information that we've covered in this video and help you remember how to read as well as the uses of this kanji. I'll give you about five seconds to guess the correct answer, but feel free to pause the video and take it at your own pace. You can take as much time as you need. After five seconds, the correct answer will be displayed and then the audio will replay. Hopefully that helps reinforce some of this language in your head. So have fun and good luck. しかし、お前には戦いによって能力を高める力がある。高校に入ったらバスケをやるのが夢だったんです。子供の頃読んだ漫画がかっこよくて。
やっぱりチーチーは最高よねそうだ我々が誘拐するのはアレクサンドリア始まった以来のビキと名高いガーネット姫折り紙殺人刑の関心が高まって今や国民的なニュースだ。Yay! So thanks so much, guys, for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video, and most importantly, I hope you're enjoying learning Japanese. Hopefully, this video gave you a little bit more of a stronger feel for this kanji and how it's used in different contexts. I find the more traditional method of learning kanji so difficult, where you kind of just remember the kanji and the different readings, but you don't really learn it through the actual words. So, hopefully, by seeing the actual vocabulary, you get a stronger feel for both how the kanji is used and what it means. So, I hope you're having fun learning Japanese, and as always, I'll see you all again in the next video. See you guys.